The overall goal of this procedure is to use a microfluidic platform to construct a perfusible vascular network in a multicellular aggregate or spheroid. This method can help address key questions in the organ shape and regenerative medicine fields, such as how is the vascular network important in vivo and in vitro tissue models. The main advantage of this technique is that the route of drug and supplement administration can be simulated in vitro via delivery of regions of interest directly into the spheroids. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because of the difficulty in introducing the cells into the target area in the microfluidic device. After casting the PDM as pre-polymer, degas the material in a vacuum chamber for two hours, followed by overnight curing at 80 degrees Celsius in an air-vented oven. The next morning, peel the PDMS from the silicon wafer and use a 2 mm diameter hole punch to create holes in the material at the indicated positions. Use a 1 mm diameter punch to create the spheroid well and use adhesive tape to clean the PDMS slab and a 24 by 24 mm glass cover slip. Treat the clean slab with air plasma for 40 seconds and bond the PDMS slab onto the cover slip. Then, cure the PDMS at 80 degrees Celsius for at least 12 hours. Two to three days before seeding the microfluidic device, add three times ten to the fifth freshly filled.